this is all Home Depot right here. Minus this, that is about $350. And it pretty much has everything and anything you would ever need to do anything that you're probably capable of doing on your van. Start with the basics, and I left everything in packages so you can kind of get an idea of what we're after. Um, always have a small shovel. Just so if you're stuck, you can dig out, you can smack something. Small 3 8 socket set. Metric. All metric. Don't go buy one of those big tool kits that has all the Imperial in it. Automotive manufacturers haven't used Imperial or Standard in over 25 years. Have yourself a breaker bar. Notice it's about the same size as your lug wrench. Back to make sure it can fit in. Now you have a breaker bar. You can break anything loose. I mean, and don't get me wrong, I'm at a shop. Not everybody torques everything down, not everything is spec. Some guys will take these and go till it goes click. When it does that, that 130 just turned into about 210. And so you got to be about, I mean, it's pure dead weight to try to get it to break loose. Breaker bar will be your best friend. Go in, different 3 8 quarter inch ratchets, a couple extensions, you don't need a ton, just something just to, if you have to get a little bit longer, you can get in there. And do quarter inch and a half inch. Back to basic stuff. Small box wrench set, larger box wrench set. On your bigger one, get the ratcheting. They're not very expensive. You don't, like I said, you don't have to buy very expensive tools. Just have them available in case something bad happens. Um, different sockets, like I, like we were talking about, it's all metric. 22, 24, 19, 18 are going to be your biggest ones in your half inch. These will tighten up your shackles, your U-bolts. Um, if something comes loose, you can get in, tighten this stuff up. And these are going to be the ones you're going to want. Like I said, there's a couple different ones. Basic screwdriver set. You can do anything from put a worm clamp on a radiator hose. If something happens inside your house, one of your water lines, one of the clamps come loose, you can get uh, different worm clamps. They're just a clamp. You just screw them tight and they will lock down a hose. The other thing that will be a lifesaver, set of vice grips. If you have, you blow a, we'll say a heater hose, especially like on your, uh, for your inside heat, you can't fix it, you can't, I mean the hose is blown, you can actually take these ones, grab a hold of it, wrap a rag around it, and pinch it. It'll stop it from, it won't bleed out, but it'll slow it down. Is that the uh, rounded? Jaws or no, flat jaws? Flat jaws. Okay. Then the rounded just just so you can grab a hold of anything. Another set of basic pliers. I like these ones because harder so harder you pull on them, squeeze and push on it, harder they grip. So you're not gonna round them off with just a you know old school just regular pliers. Some Allen wrenches. There's a lot of stuff inside these that need Allen wrenches. You can get torque wrenches or the torques. Uh, I wouldn't say I would be opposed. Then a quarter inch set of sockets. This is all for your little detail stuff. Like I said, hoses, anything like that you can do. The other thing, rust penetrant. You guys are out and playing in the dirt, everything like that. Stuff. If you have to break something loose, you can always spray a little bit of this on it. It'll help break that loose. And this side, random rope. I can't tell you how many times I've had to, out in the fields, snap a control arm or anything like that. I have used uh, ratchet straps, rope, anything to hold it together to get it off the trail. Other thing, zip ties. Just have a whole grip of zip ties. Um, you catch uh, who broke the speed sensor so 
you break that <laughs> off, <laughs> right? Well, you don't want it dragging, you don't want to cause other problems. Grab some zip ties, grab it, wrap it up, zip tie it up to the body. Your vent tubes for your differentials, your transmission, they will come loose, they will fall off. That will happen, regardless. If they, you see it, grab some of these, you can pull them, zip tie it up to a highest point, get it out of the way. And like I said, this is all real basic stuff and you can go to Home Depot. You don't have to go to Home Depot, but I like Home Depot, Lowe's, things like that. There's one everywhere. You can always find this stuff anywhere because tools will break. You can get new tools, replace them. The only thing that's a little bit odd is this. Um, being a mechanic, we stopped using air tools years ago. Everything went cordless. I like this because you saw how long it takes to break it loose. Not necessarily want to put it back on with this, but could you imagine, I mean, we could do it right now. You'll come up to it and go like, just pull the trigger. And those lug nuts are broken loose, they're off, they're ready to go. So, it's real basic tools. The only other thing, and I should have probably got them out, get a good pair of gloves. These are impact gloves. If you look at them, they have gel because you're going to beat your hands up fast. The only thing I will say is make sure they are tight. Don't want loose gloves. Loose gloves will get caught in something. You will get your fingers caught. So make sure they're extremely tight, almost uncomfortable tight. If you're not going to be wearing them long. The nice thing about having gloves, something's hot underneath, you can dig in, reach in, pull something out, whatever you have to do.